getting closer. And it's gonna be big. Infected. 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 Hello and welcome to Infected, the internet television equivalent of a crazy Japanese street dancer who you can watch for hours and still not be sure whether you're witnessing something that is the result of hard work and talent or something that's just batshit crazy and covered in street filth. <laughs> I'm Internet's Martin Sargent. And I'm joined, as always, by my good pal, the Gator. Hey, Gator. How you doing, buddy? All right. Thanks for asking. I like that video there, that little Japanese gal dancing in the street. That's, that's some wild stuff. My, my, my cousin, New Gene, used to have spells like that. His daddy would just take him out back and chain him to a stump. Just, he'd dance like that for hours. But I don't know. That girl looked like she had some talent. Anyhow. I didn't I, know there was crazy people in Japan. They all seem so sane. Yeah. I don't they all know. seem real even keel the Japanese. I don't know. They're giving to they you get wild over there. There's some you know, they, there's some kinky mo- there's some kinky mothers over there. There is that. There is that. Oh, oh, I got I just gotta say thank you to everyone out there in the affected army who heeded our call and responded yeah. to our beacon of warning. That's when nice. we said last episode that there is a good chance that the good fit ship infected may be dashed upon the rocks of cancellation. That's right. We don't know. If it's going to happen. We got tons of letters. We got tons of message board postings. Some people were, like, threatening all kinds of crazy Well, don't shit. do nothing drastic. No, don't just, do anything drastic. Just keep your letters coming you if know, you don't, like. Don't harm the children. Don't, uh, don't quit your job yet. But just keep going to the message boards and writing to us. Say, you don't want Infected to be canceled. This is the rest show on Internet. You send that around to all your, your friends, too, and get them to watch it. Seriously. I mean, it will be canceled unless more people watch it. But I think it, that's it the is, problem. There, there are there have been some whisperings about around the Revision Three headquarters, and at this point, we just don't know. Well, we can just do the best show we can do now. That's all we can do. Speaking of show, what do we got? Yeah, uh, despite all that unpleasantness, Gator, um, I've got to say that now we're back up here in old San Francisco town. Yeah. I'm just feeling inspired and new. It's like I, hear I finally crawled out from under my soiled bed sheets and decided to walk down to the corner store to buy some pizzeria flavored <laughs> combos and a Shasta. That's how inspired I am. In fact, I am so inspired that I've once again taken up blogging. Because I have lots of important things to say. So here it is. It's a new segment here on the Sarge Cast. It's called Blogging by the Bay. Blog on. Sitting out here by the hugeness of the bay, I feel so tiny. Like I'm a little delicate finch or a bright hummingbird. But when I say I feel tiny, I mean it in a good way. I mean tiny like I'm fast and light and magical. Not tiny like some half-wit weak kid with bad legs in a wheelchair or one of those shitty little dogs that yelps a lot. I hate those dogs. I'd like to kill me one. It's good to be back to my old self, Gator. Yeah, that's a pretty little story you wrote there. Yeah, yeah. vlogging by the bay. That's real. That's it's very, real. very inspirational here in the San Francisco Bay. You feel tiny, do you? It's magical. So, so <laughs> speaking of magical, <laughs> Gator has finally gotten on the internet. He's finally got the internet. Oh, Actually, yeah. I should say, he doesn't really, he's not on the internet, but he'll park his truck out mm-hmm. in front of my window here yeah. and, uh, and, and uh, steal my wireless with, with the laptop that he, he stole from Patrick Norton. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, hey, don't say that out loud, buddy. You, you, you were a, saying that, that um, big, every week on the show... Now Patrick you, Norton's like a big... He's like a goddamn... I wouldn't cross Patrick Norton. He's bigger than a mule, boy. <laughs> every week on the show, out. you want to find... Uh, you want to show us a different cute gal that you find on the internet, right? That's right. Yeah, because that's what I've been looking at mostly. I sit out there with that laptop and I just sort of look up cute gals. I found me a good one this week. All right, let's, let's hear it. This is, this is Gator with uh, Gator Scales. Gator Gal of the Week right here. Here she is. Ain't she a peach? Gator, that, that, that's Amanda Bynes. Amanda, whoever it is, I don't know, man. I've never seen her before, but I found this little girl on the internet, and I love her, man. I've been looking at her all week. I wrote her a poem. You, you, that's not like you, Gator. Writing poetry, writing lyrical verse. I'm going to read all it. All right. All right. Poem to the girl on the interweb. You're the girl who looks so fresh and pretty. I bet you smell like a baby fawn sleeping in the ferns. I'd like to pick you up in my truck and drive you anywhere you want to go. I'd paint you a picture of a sunny day. 
and I'd take you somewhere classy for endless popcorn shrimp and a steak. And then later, maybe after some drinks, I'll fuck you. I don't think what you <laughs> said is legal. That's At beautiful. least in most states. I don't know what came out. over me, man. I, she ain't no, she, she 18 years old, isn't she? I don't know. Well, shit, I hope she good is good. Good enough for me. But I, 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 me. I wrote that and um, because I felt strongly about her, and sometimes I move to write poetry. <laughs> and that's how I feel. I don't know. I'm sorry. I hope I, I hope I didn't mess up the show or creep nobody no, out. No, that's, that's fine. But let's just move on. Let's real quick take wait, another wait. look at an exhibit from Martin's Museum of Internet Oddities. Tonight's oddity comes all the way from our friends in Saudi Arabia. Let's take a look. Jesus Christ. Yeah, these, these Saudi kids, they're apparently um, oh. skating on a road going about 45 miles an hour they're with going, their sandals they're on. They're going about 65. They're, they're, going, going, they're going real quick. Apparently everyone in Saudi Arabia drives a Toyota Camry. But you know, this is the problem. I'm not saying that we're at war with the Saudis, but look at the attitude of these guys. They don't give a fuck. I mean, <laughs> this, like, this is the kind of thing. Pair, they ain't got shit to live for. He's got a pair of flip-flops on. Man. They, he's just you know, flying along. Hey, you know what? I know what it is, though. My daddy told me that over there the roads are paved with oil. <laughs> they could be. So maybe that's why it's so slick it like that. I mean, if you die doing that, does that mean you get to go to heaven with the 76 virgins and all that? Does that count? Like a bad flip-flop skating accident? Yeah. I don't wow, know. look at those guys. Well, it sure is entertaining. Those guys are... Those guys are showing. I bet it feels really good to have the wind whip up through your dress like that, though, you know, when you're going down the highway. We used to do, like, know. car servers. I don't know if I'd want to hang out with them dudes. It might be a little bit... It'd be a little bit... Squirrely, you know, because they just they don't give a damn. They drive their car straight into a damn post. I'm sorry, go ahead. That's all right. You know, uh, internet oddities, if you have any, I would love to see them. You think there's a good one for the museum, send it to infected at revision3.com. Oh, speaking of internet oddities, check this out. Um, a viewer by the name of Surgical Virginity <laughs> sent this in to me uh, just a minute ago. It's a picture of Joey. <laughs> and uh, he's sitting with a big bib on here, and uh, apparently Joey has my head on a platter with a fork coming out of my eye, and he's about to, to eat me. He's got a big um, cup of infected he's juice. He's got a big cup of infected right Wh there. Why did he send that to you? I don't know, but he it looks like Joey's certainly enjoying uh, eating my head. <laughs> he's got vampire fangs on. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys, if you have an artistic bent, why don't, why don't you do the same as is surgical virginity and send me a picture of Joey committing cannibalism. <laughs> Doesn't have to be against me. Could be against the bird, because that would be cannibalism, because he actually is a bird. Anyway. He's a chicken. Um, he eating a chicken. That's cannibalism. We're going to be right back, and I'm, I'm going to challenge you to a brand new game that I come up with, Gator, uh, right after this word from our sponsor. This is good Folgers, man. Tonight's episode of Infected is brought to you by the Kevin Rose Cool Kit. Because what good is it being a wildly successful Web 2.0 guy if you're a total dork? Lame turns any successful Web 2.0 businessman into the picture of hipness in the blink of an eye. I was just the run-of-the-mill geeky darling of Silicon Valley in a suit. But then I bought the Kevin Rose Cool Kit and it changed my life. Each standard kit comes with a cool hoodie, ripped jeans, and a pair of skateboarder shoes. All the gear you need to turn into the hippest guy in the room immediately. And for a limited time, for only $5 more, you can get the Kevin Rose Cool Kit Deluxe Edition. It includes Kevin Rose hair gel for that tussle just rolled out of bed look, hungover beard stubble, and four press-on tattoos. You'll never just be another really successful dork again. Get the Kevin Rose Cool Kit and get hip. Allow two to four weeks for delivery. iPhone and Sarah Lane not included. Thanks, Kevin Rose. And welcome back to Infected. Gator, you feeling spry of mind today? Always, buddy. Well, let's play a little game. I challenge you to a new game called Rate That Personal. All right, but I love Here's games. how the game works. I'm going to show you a real personal ad. These are real ads. We didn't write these. We didn't take the photos. These are actual ads that I found on the internet. <laughs> All you have to do is tell me how effective you think the ad is by giving it a score between one and seven swelling hearts. Is that a game, really? That's the game. You understand the rules? What do I win? I want a guitar. Y you win another cup of Folgers. All right, let's do it. Ready for your first one? Yep. All right, here's the man. His, his online personal reads, I am a loving and caring man. I like nothing more than sharing my love with my lady. I like <laughs> kittens, my herb garden, and writing poetry. I think that a man has to be sensitive and strong. I am also a peaceful soul looking for my partner. 
Oh, and if you cheat on me, I'm gonna smoke your cheating ass whore. Nice. How many swelling hearts? One to seven. I think you gotta read between the lines in this man's article here. And, <laughs> and if you do, I'm gonna give him about a five. That's correct! He gets five <laughs> swelling hearts. That's very good. You're one for one. He's at Ready for your next challenge? Add little code words in there. All right, go ahead. All right. His about me section reads, you need a guy like me. When I'm not taking long walks on the beach or romancing my woman by candlelight, I like to go out on love maneuvers. Baby, when I put on my camos and romance you, you won't know it hit you. My love bazooka is ready for you. Well, Lord have mercy, love Told bazooka. you we didn't write them, they're not very good. How many? I'm ashamed to share the planet with that little fucker. I'm gonna give him a two. That's correct, you're two <laughs> for two. Oh wow, you're doing really good. All right, here's like the next one. Up. His personal statement reads, baby, you know you'll be my only love. Sure, I have lots of other hoes, but you're the one that matters. I will take care of all your needs. Why would one of my ladies need cash? Just give me my money, bitch. I mean, honey, let me take all those trivial worries about cash off your hands. A fine lady like you don't need to worry about such petty things. Well, now that's not real. Is that really that's real? That's real. Ad? These are all real personal ads. I like that little shrine he's got behind his head, and I like his cane a lot. I'm going to give him a six. Oh, I'm sorry. He actually gets a four. That guy's he a heavy a hitter, four. man. He's, he kind of blends in. All well, right. it doesn't look good on that couch. Next challenge. His personal <laughs> statement reads, I'm a very dirty boy. Can you come and help me clean up? I don't know. That just reminds me of skin, knees, and herpes. I like that truck, though. That's a good looking truck. I'm going to give him a... I'm going to give him a one. <laughs> oh, he got a seven. A seven. He got a seven. And here's your final challenge. His personal statement reads, After all, what could you want more than a guy with an enormous beer belly who likes to walk around his house in his briefs playing with his dick? <laughs> How many? <laughs> That's pretty... That's, I like He's his an honest, honest man. He's an honest man, and honesty is the key to any relationship and key to a woman's heart. If you're honest, you can get anything. I'm giving him a five. That's correct! You got a <laughs> five out of seven. You did very well, Gator. I'm pretty proud of you. Well, I put up a lot of them ads myself since yeah. I got my answer. <laughs> And yeah, with it. that, that's all the time we have for this special edition of Infected. That's pretty quick. Well, you ain't gonna get a story? I kind of want to hit the home. Come on, buddy. Fast. I still got a little swallow of Folgers left now. Don't leave me. I'm just gonna. All right, up. one short story. I oh, love it. For love, this is the story of Wiry Chris, the woman who wanted to be a mama. Once upon a time, there was a woman named Wiry Chris who, after spending the last 20 years riding Harley, smoking Old Gold 100s with the filter ripped off, and training hawks on her piece of land out by the hills, woke up to realize one day that she had only a few good childbearing years left and wanted to have a baby. Problem was, every man in town was fucking terrified of Wiry Chris, especially after she smashed Don the Honda mechanic's left testicle damn near flat with a crescent wrench after he whistled at her down at the Prickly Pear Cafe. So, Wiry Chris was forced to take an ad out at an online dating site. The ad read, In my life, I have had some problems with guys. You see, guys, I tend to date assholes. Finally, a friend told me, I don't need a man. I needed a dog. Dogs are loyal, affectionate, and protective. Oh, and when a guy treats me like shit, this dog will rip out his motherfucking throat. So you want to go out? And it was amazing how many guys responded. There was Jeff, the fez-wearing pizza delivery guy, Steve, the bodybuilder, Dave, the monster of rock, and at least 15 others. But problem was, every time Wiry Chris met one of these guys, they weren't interested in impregnating her, they just wanted to get hard and be mauled and pummeled by her dog. Turns out, lots of guys on the internet were into that sick shit. So Wiry Chris swallowed her pride and convinced Don the Honda mechanic to use his one good ball to knock her up and nine months later, out popped a really fucked up deformed baby that was eventually taken away by Child Protective Services after Wiry Chris left it unattended in a cage next to a boiling vat of meth for two weeks straight. The... <laughs> that was sad. I don't like Wiry Chris. <laughs> she fell in love. Well. She had a baby. Well. All right, that was good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, uh, that's all the time we have for this special edition of Infected. For the Gator, this is Martin Sarger reminding you, don't get ripped by the Riptide. See you at the bar. I'm going to go shoot my gun. Why is that gun been sitting on the table? Don't you worry about that. You just do your show. I practice gun control. I have a steady grip. <laughs> I'm going to see you later.
later, buddy. Bye. You've been watching Infected. If you're still watching Infected, well, you're probably not going to watch it again after this one, but fuck it. You're still infected, but, you know, we don't care. Go ahead and send us your personal ads, and maybe one of us will date you, and we'll use our balls to impregnate you. Goodbye. Infected is written by Martin Sargent and Jay Speedy. Cameron Audio by Glenn Mekalos. Edited by Glenn Mekalos. Shit for Joey had absolutely nothing to do with this episode. Have something to say? Tell us on the message boards at revision3.com slash forums. No, Glenn. I said no. I said no, Glenn. Do it to Joe. Well, these Man, tripods. You start up here, right? Yeah. These tripods are different. I don't like them.